you are going to make an extra terrain one situated in Google Earth taking a photograph of the terrain previously of getting the image to the SketchUp saving it into a folder after that we are going to apply it the to the the photograph to the snapshot making the hidden geometry on getting the image at the bottom left corner to the right corner taking the, the physics pins to situate the rest three corners to match it properly once it is done uh, make it is still projected and lock it the snapshot again now you are ready to draw a profile of the extra terrain in this case marking through the shore near the water to the interior and making a profile taking a sample of the snapshot and projecting it to the new terrain. Hide the snapshot, open the terrain. Now we are going to situate the terrain at the bottom end corner and at the bottom end of the church with a push pull tool to the geometry of the church. And now with a push pull tool passing push pull tool passing through the Google Earth terrain <clears throat> once it is made we need to make a rectangle perpendicular to the shore in order to apply a photograph of the surroundings to project over the shore once the photograph is situated with a new future of the SketchUp 7, we make this texture unique. The other part of the photograph disappears. Make this texture projected, take a sample and project it to the shore. Notice that this photograph has a color that it doesn't match with the surrounding color of the photograph of the Google Earth. In this case, we are going to use another feature of SketchUp, editing the, this texture. You can choose a color, a green color. Uh, we have noticed that this color is too light, taking an eyedropper and taking a sample from the from the snapshot. Uh, in my opinion, it doesn't match quite well. We are going to make to make another adjustment, taking the eyedropper and sampling. We are going to take an eyedropper sampling from another part of the terrain. In this case, it match much better than the previous. And now the terrain, in my opinion, is quite good. We are going to situate the model into the Google Earth to see if it is much okay or not. In this case, it appears to match quite well 